<laughs> it is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? Maybe you should try the other foot. Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! Everyone on board. Aye, aye, Captain Rebel. Full sail. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all wearing life jackets. George, you could wear my pirate hat. <laughs> Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. Hooray! What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Hooray! Let's find some more. Aha! We found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness! This piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh, dear. That is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? Me! What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boot. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Peppa, George, the dentist will see you now. Hooray! <laughs> this is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, Peppa. Have you been brushing your teeth? Yes, Dr Elephant. Good. Now, who's first? I'm first because I'm a big girl. Watch me, George. Sit in the chair, please. <laughs> Hold tight. Whee! <laughs> Open wide, please. Ah! Wider, please. Ah! Now, let's take a look. Dr Elephant uses a little mirror to look at Peppa's teeth. I hope you haven't been eating too many sweeties, Peppa. <laughs> 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 
It is quite difficult to speak when your mouth is wide open. Ga, ga, ga. <laughs> there. All done. What lovely clean teeth. She takes after me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have the special pink drink now? Yes, but don't drink it, Peppa. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> George, now it's your turn. No. George does not want it to be his turn. Maybe you can hold Mr Dinosaur while the dentist looks at your teeth. <laughs> Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah, there they are. All done. Children's Ward! <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow. The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A parrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching, it's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. <laughs> Pepper is at the opticians. <laughs> Mr Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr Pony is going to test Pepper's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um... A, B, C, D, E... Good. Now these numbers, please. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Pepper? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow. I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Pepper. You look fantastic. I look fantastic. <laughs> <clears throat> Good news. Pepper has perfect eyesight. 
So I don't need glasses? No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh. Hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Sheep, Mrs. Cat, Mr. Zebra and Madame Gazelle have got on the bus. Uh -oh. Four tickets to the supermarket, please. Hello, Madame Gazelle. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. round, and round. The wheels on the bus go The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are going home on the bus. Mr. Bull is going home with his mended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes. It was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> Hello, Pepper and George. Come and see the fire engine. Wow! Fire engine! There's a ladder for climbing, a hose for squirting water, and a big bell to ring. Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> now, let's go up the tower and look for fires. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. Hello, Hello, George. Ah, oh, who's for a nice cup of tea and a chat? That sounds nice. Ooh, a telephone. Peppa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. 
have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry. I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho, oh, oh, ho! I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus today? Of course, Pepper. <laughs> All aboard! Daddy, I'm Queen Pepper. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your daddy. Hmm. That must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Pepper, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> George imagines being a big dinosaur. <laughs> 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 the dinosaur room is George's favourite room. <laughs> My favourite room is the king and queen's room. And it looks as if Daddy Pig is already in his favourite room. Which room is that, Mummy? The room with the cakes in. Daddy Pig's favourite room is the museum cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tuck in. Oh, yes. This is a very nice room. <laughs> this is the picnic area. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> ah, I love this picnic spot. It's so quiet and peaceful. <laughs> it is Zoe Zebra with her daddy, Mr Zebra the Postman. Hello, Mr Zebra. <laughs> Have you got our post? Oh, oh, no deliveries today. It's my day off. Me! We're having a picnic lunch. <laughs> so are we. I know. Why don't we make one big picnic? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what a splendid picnic. Please may George and I leave the table and play with Zoe. Yes, Peppa. <laughs> Zoe, I've got my teddy. I've got my monkey. Oh, 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 dinosaur. <laughs> I've got a toy picnic set. Let's play picnics. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice. 
and we've got pretend cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretend cake. It's very nice. Oh dear, I do not think the ducks want pretend cake. Oh well, that means there's more for Monkey, Mr Dinosaur and Teddy. Mmm, delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says the best cake ever. <laughs> Peppa, George, home time. Bye-bye, Zoe. Bye-bye. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> Home time for us too, Zoe. Yes, Daddy. Cups, plates, monkey, Teddy. Oh, no! You shouldn't be here, Teddy. Mummy Pig and Pepper are at Miss Rabbit's shoe shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We would like to buy some new shoes for Pepper, please. Red shoes. Oh, I'm sure we can find you some lovely new shoes, Pepper. Red ones, please. Of course, red ones. Wow! No red shoes! <laughs> George and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. Oh, well done, George. Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Look at my new shoes! I say, they are red. Mummy, do you like my new shoes? Yes, Pepper. They make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? Everyone likes Pepper's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Peppa and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. It has been raining all night, and now the garden is very wet. Mummy Pig is wearing her boots. Daddy Pig is wearing his boots. George is wearing his boots. Pepper is still wearing her new red shoes. <laughs> I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, you gave away Daddy's chair. Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Peppa, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Pepper. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! 
Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho <laughs> ho. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor, doors opening. <laughs> This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper... I take a rubber stamp and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Pepper likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh. Then I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> the red ticket wins the balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. And Teddy, dinosaur! Oh, and a Teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Hop aboard! Quick, Daddy! Splice the main brace, chocks away, full steam ahead! Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher. The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh, where did the sky go? Don't worry, Pepper. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh! Wow! The sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon. Bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky. Fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Teddy. We're flying really high. Peppa, be careful you don't drop... Teddy! I've dropped Teddy! <gasps> don't worry, Peppa. We'll rescue Teddy. Hold tight, everybody. We're going down. Miss Rabbit is making the balloon go down so that Teddy can be rescued. <laughs> Peppa is playing mini golf on her own. <sighs> Here is Emily Elephant. Can I have a go? Yes! <laughs> Emily, Susie Sheep is not my best friend anymore. So you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Candy Cats. Oh. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Zoe, if you want, you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Susie. 
Hello, Pepper. Ah, good. I see you two are friends again. We are not friends. We will never be friends again. Hmm. I think it's about time you two made it up. Pepper, say sorry to Susie. Only if she says sorry first. Only if she says sorry first. I know. I'll count to three and you can both say sorry at the same time. All right. One, two, three. Sorry. Now you can be best friends again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Susie, let's play mini golf. Good idea. Peppa and Susie are best friends again. Me first. My go. My ball went in the hole. So I win. But my ball knocked it in. So I win. You're just making the rules up. You are making the rules up. I win. No, I win. <laughs> you two are just the same. <laughs> That's why Susie's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and Peppa is my best friend in the whole world ever. <laughs> <laughs> It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! yes. The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, Gazelle sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing our tune and we're singing a song with a Bing and a Bong and a Bing. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. <laughs> What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <coughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <coughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And, and me. me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. So am I. Grandpa's left us a picnic in the galley. What's a galley? A galley is a boat's little kitchen. Follow me. Peppa and George are going inside the boat. Wow! <laughs> what a tiny little kitchen. Where's the picnic? The obvious place would be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a picnic. Then it must be here. And that's not a picnic. This kitchen has everything in the wrong place. Wow, TV. Daddy Pig cannot find the picnic. It's impossible. If this was my kitchen, the picnic would be here. Oh, well done, Peppa. Peppa has found the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> It's the ducks. Ah. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Look out! Long reeds ahead. Don't worry. Grandpa's boat will easily go through them. 
Are we stuck? No. We can reverse. Now are we stuck? Yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the reeds. I'll just give it a little push. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. When I say go, start the engine. Aye, aye, aye Captain, Captain Daddy, Daddy Pig. Go! <laughs> Daddy Pig has pushed the boat out of the reeds. Hooray! Oh, quick, Daddy! Jump back on the boat! <sighs> You are Danny Dog, Edward Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. <laughs> Let's play football. Yes, football. <laughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me. Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> goal! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go. Go. <laughs> go. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, yes, it is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy, the boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. I'll be the referee! Me! Me! Stop! Me. Stop. Me. I'll be the referee. <laughs> the next team to get a goal will win the game. Hooray! <laughs> Where's the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Quick! Score a goal! Stop them! <laughs> 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 goal! Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. Hooray! I'm off to the gym. What do you do at the gym? Running, jumping and skipping. Mummy, that's not work. That's play. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and Susie have arrived at the playgroup. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, children, today we will play shops. Ooh. Who wants to be shopkeeper? Me, me, me. Peppa and Susie can be shopkeepers. Everyone else can be customers. Peppa and Susie are going to run a pretend shop. What do we have to do? I will take the money, Susie, and you can stack the shelves. OK. Danny Dog is the first customer. Hello, shopkeeper. Hello, Mr Dog. Can I have some biscuits, please? Susie, have we got any biscuits? No. But we've got a toy telephone. How much will that be? That will be a hundred pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. Nay. Hello, shopkeeper. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? No. But you can have a toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one a penny, please. <laughs> Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Squeak! Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Hmm, a carrot? Yes, please. Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. <laughs> Here. Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, 
There's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! Oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yummy. Look, the sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Peppa and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> and do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. Ooh, Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <sniffs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Ew. <coughs> 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 oh. Oh, it tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. 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 Poor Dr Brown Bear. He's ill, and there's no one to look after him. Oh! <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah! It is morning. Peppa and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Peppa, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please! Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy! Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit? 
Can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Berries, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Pippa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Pepper. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> A special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <sniffs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, oh, oh. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Pepper, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top, and then out of the bottom comes lovely, rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Pepper. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. <laughs> Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wriggly worms for your compost tape? What a good idea. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's find some more wriggly worms. <laughs> 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 A wiggly worm. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. You're a wiggly worm. You're a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. You're a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Be a good wiggly worm and turn it all into compost. <laughs> <laughs> then I can use the compost to... I know, I know. You put a seed in the ground, cover it in compost, and it grows into a tree. Oh, yes, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! <laughs> Come on, Pass! You can make it! The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water. Water. What a lovely hot day. And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water. Water. Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off, get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig has lost the wasp. Well done, Daddy Pig. 
All that extra running means we've got enough money for a new school bus, too. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> I am the captain of this boat. And when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Grandpa, can I be the captain, please? OK. But as captain, you must wear this hat. Now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Pepper. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah, uh, message to Granny? <sniffs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Pepper. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 <laughs> I declare this sports center open. Fantastic. We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr. Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um. Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh. Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <sniffs> we watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! <laughs> I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy, watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! Hooray! Here are your activity sheets. Ooh. The children have to spot everything that is on the activity sheet. A boat, a signal box. And a tunnel. I can see trees. A 
are trees on the list? Uh, no. I can see clouds. Are clouds on the list? No. I can see Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Hello, Grandad Dog! <coughs> Is Grandad Dog on the list? Silly Peppa! My Grandad won't be on the list. But he is sailing a boat. And a boat is on the list. Hooray! The children tick the boat on their activity sheets. <laughs> Tickets, please. Mr Rabbit has come to check everyone's ticket. Uh, I think I've lost my ticket. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Meow. There's your ticket, Pedro. You were sitting on it. <laughs> now you try not to lose it again, Pedro. The train is going slowly uphill. The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Do -da -dum -dum, da -de -da. Hey. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. <laughs> Stop! Mr Bull has stopped the traffic. What's the problem, Mr Bull? Moo! We're digging up the road. There's water coming out of the ground. Yes, that's what we're here to fix. Ooh. Is it going to take long? It will take as long as it takes. <laughs> digger, digger. George <laughs> likes diggers. This way, Mr Rhino. OK, boss. Mr Bull is the boss. Mr Bull, where's all that water coming from? It's coming from a broken water pipe underground. How are you going to fix it? We dig up the road! Wow! We turn the water off. <laughs> George loves cranes. Crane! Crane! We take the old pipe out and put the new one in. <laughs> Thank you for showing us your work, Mr Bull. Ooh, no problem. Bye. See you later. <laughs> oh, dear. George doesn't want to leave Mr Bull. We're going to the playground, George. <laughs> you can play diggers and cranes in the sand pit. And we'll see Mr Bull again on our way home. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the playground. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sandpit. <laughs> Pepper and George are going shopping. <laughs> Pepper and George like shopping. George loves sitting in the trolley. <laughs> so does Pepper. Daddy? Can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Pepper. Oh. But you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody. We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> this way. Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti! Spaghetti! 
That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. <laughs> this way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig has the bottles, Pepper has the tin cans, and George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here. Hooray! Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good. Carry on. What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> <sighs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Pepper and George love their paddling pool. Ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy! <laughs> Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. <laughs> Please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. The same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. Dinosaur. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> Peppa loves her sailboat. <laughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. <coughs> We're playing with our boats. 
<laughs> I've got my speedboat. Is it clockwork? No, it has batteries. Susie's speedboat uses batteries to make it go. Ooh. What a great speedboat. <coughs> Sorry, Mrs. Duck. <coughs> Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. My granddad has made me this paddle boat. Ooh. I say, that's impressive. How does it work? It's steam powered. I just push this little lever. Wow. What a fantastic paddle boat. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her mummy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with our boats. I wish I had a boat. Rebecca Rabbit does not have a boat. I've got an idea. Luckily, I brought my newspaper along. I just need one page. Which page can we lose? News? Sport? Ah, fashion. Not the fashion page. OK, I'll use the business page. When I was a little piggy, I used to fold newspaper like this. What is Daddy Pig doing? To make a paper boat. Daddy Pig has made a paper boat. Thank you, Mr Pig. <laughs> George wants a paper boat too. Oh, oh, I suppose I can do without the sports page. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Trust me. Hello, ducks. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Look, there's the main road again. Well done, Mummy Pig. But we're still behind Danny's lorry. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig's shortcut has not worked very well. Good. Lunch is ready. And, most important of all, the potatoes are done. Lunch is ready, but Peppa and her family are still not here. Grandpa Pig speaking. We're almost at your house. But the traffic is still moving at the speed of a snail. A very, very slow snail. They're almost here, but they're still in the traffic jam. Poor dears. <coughs> the food is going to get cold. I've got an idea. I'll get my wheelbarrow. What is Grandpa Pig doing? Granny Pig, <coughs> load the lunch into the wheelbarrow. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. If they can't come to the lunch, we have to take the lunch to them. <laughs> Look! There's Granny and Grandpa with our lunch in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Ahoy there! Lunch is served. Is there enough for Danny and Grandad Dog to have some too? We've got enough for everyone. Hooray! Potato! <laughs> Good job you did lots and lots of potatoes, Grandpa. Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes.